So in 2011, a new instrument was uh, developed and adopted by, uh, by UNESCO. The development took over six years, but in 2011, this instrument was adopted by all the member states of UNESCO. Um, and just so you know, UNESCO has 193 member states today. So the recommendation on the historic urban landscape is, uh, is first and foremost a way of understanding um, built heritage as, um, as a landscape. It's a landscape approach to identifying, conserving, and managing uh, heritage. It looks at heritage as um, the outcome or the result of the interactions between the built, the natural, and the local community. So these three elements become very key. So it's, it means that any kind of management and preservation of the property must include all of these three because it's not just any one of them that can um, um, that can lead to successfully preserving the heritage. So you have the built heritage, you have the tangible elements, whether it is artworks or other types of uh, objects that are very meaningful and significant. You have uh, the universal value of the OUV. And the built heritage has the monumental aspects, but you also have the streets and the built pattern, the ordinary housing um, that is part of this landscape. You have the geography, the terrain, the geomorphology, um, the larger landscape, the relationship to the surrounding rural areas, to the countryside, the relationship between the city and the countryside. Uh, all of which is part of the natural environment. The intangible beliefs, practices, rituals, food, uh, all of those are very integral. The, the way that natural resources are extracted, building practices, technologies, natural resources, and the way that they're used for building. And uh, local attributes, which give local identity. And very many times when we are talking about the conditions of authenticity and integrity, these local uh, practices, traditions, building technologies, the ordinary built fabric become very central. So um, the protection of, of heritage uh, in this sense has to be done at many different levels from planning to the management of, uh, of, of people and practices to enable them to continue to make the place meaningful. <laughs>